And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Infinite Fusion Square Lock. If you don't know what a Square Lock is, let me explain. In every episode, I will do whatever the top comment tells me to do in the last episode. Now for this episode, Sleep Oma has won yet again, how three times in a row, uh, with the top comment. But this time he said choose three other random comments instead. Now, this is pretty difficult to do since I can't really randomize the comments and there is no real proof for me to show that I randomize it because, I mean, it's, I'm pretty sure the comments are just in a different order for everyone. So what I did, in total I had 23 comments um, and I just did a random number generator. I got um, comment 4, 6 and 16. Now for me, comment 4 was from Jeremy, I will put the comment on screen, who said only use fighting types. So the one thing I asked for in the last episode that I didn't want to happen, happens. Um, now I do not want that to happen, because I have to fight a ghost type gym. And yeah, that's... no. Oh no, we have to fight a normal type gym. Jeremy, I love you, thank you, thank you so much for this. Okay, then now for comment, I'm sorry that there was a weird cat right there, my neighbors from, like, understair neighbors came home and they were yelling in the hallway and it was really loud. Anyways, the other comment was, um, comment 6 was from Galen Arker the third. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that, um, who said Hexerus only fusion, so that's really good. That's like extremely good because we can, what I will do is I will use Hexorous Fusions that are fused with fighting types, which I will try to kind of randomize. And our last comment is comment 16 from a Woogie who said when a Pokemon faints, well it basically said when a Pokemon faints, lose another member. Um, so let's say my um, Hexorous Machamp faints, then he faints, but I also have to like faint another member of our party. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. Now. I don't really know how I'm gonna randomize the fighting types, uh, but I'll figure that out somehow. Um, I actually have to kind of look into that how I'm gonna do that, but if I find a way, I will um, let you guys know. So um, I'll be right back. Okay, so one idea that I kind of had that I can do is I can, um, on the website again, you can fill in two Pokemon, but I can also randomize just one Pokemon. So what I will probably do is just keep Hexer seen. I will just keep randomizing until I find six fighting types. Um, I will not be looking for custom fusions, I will just be looking for any fighting type. So they might look bad, but otherwise it's just gonna take too long. So I'll just like cut back until like every time I find a fighting type, just give me a second. Okay, we got our first one and it's a Tyro. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, let me... Oh, that's so bad. Let me quickly take a picture of this and um, I'll go look for our second one. Okay, here's our second one. I'm a chop. Okay, that's a little bit better. Still pretty bad, but a little bit better. Oh, we got my chop again. Um, okay, I guess we'll just use two much chops then. I mean, I feel like that's I mean, it's not fair because Machop isn't great, but I feel like that's a good solution. Yeah, we'll use both Machop fusions. Okay, let's go for the fourth one. Okay, we found the fourth one. It's a custom, actually. We got um, Heracross. Ooh, that will actually be a pretty good one, yeah. Okay, our fifth one is going to be Hitmonlee. It's a little bit sad that they're all kind of ugly, but that doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Okay, and our final one is Primeape. There we go. So let me quickly get those um, on my game and I will be right back. Okay, and we are done. This is our team. Take a quick look at them. Um, this is the Tyrock with Sirius. The matchup is Sassy. The other matchup is also Sassy. Hexacross is actually naive, which is decent, I think. Yeah. Um, the Hitmon Lee is Rash. And the Primeape is Gentle. So. Yeah, I put them out at level 22. I, I don't know what to expect. I guess we just go for it. Um, I feel like Heracross, um, Hexcross, is probably going to be our best bet. Because I think he has the highest base stats. Um, but yeah, yo, Jeremy, thank you so much. And um, the Durf, I will just say the Durf because I really cannot pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. Those are the first two comments that actually niced me, so... I mean, we don't have fighting type moves. Okay, I should take a look at that. 
Wait, that's an ice token. Yeah, I should take a look at uh, maybe some fighting type moves. But yeah, thank you guys, because I have not received a, um, a, a comment that's helped me, actually. So, bro. Just slash. Okay, now this is just annoying. Let's go Primaros, I guess. Oh, cross chop should be enough, yeah. Okay. Let me actually cut again and, and go learn some fighting type moves to my Pokemon. Okay, it was actually only the Heracross that didn't have any fighting type moves. Um, and he still doesn't have any fighting type moves, so... It's just amazing, isn't it? Um, yeah, he didn't learn any, except for Arm Thrust, but that's such a weak move. I did learn um, Dual Chop, which will probably be good enough, but... I guess we are going Primorous um, instead then. I also don't know who to lead. Um, does it really matter? Because all our types are exactly the same, but still. Um, let's switch to a favorite Charles, that's cute. Um, yeah, I just probably just, yeah, cross chop. Uh, something else I did want to do, because it's technically not against the rules. Now, I don't know when Machop evolves, like what level, but with two Machops, we can try to evolve them. We can also try to evolve Tyroke. Um, I hope Tyrog doesn't turn into Hitmonlee, but yeah, actually, I'm gonna do that now. Um, I will just level them up one level and just see if they evolve, basically. Okay, so the Hitmon, the, the, the Tyrog or whatever it was called, actually evolved into Hitmonlee as well, but the Machop didn't, so... I mean, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, I, I actually don't know what strat we're gonna go for, um, because there's a small, small problem. If she has a normal type and a ghost type, that would suck a lot because that means we would not be able to hit it with like a double kick or a slash. So it kind of makes me want to take, um, where is he? X cross? Yeah, because it's gonna be fast. It has 48 speed. I think it's the fastest on our team. Oh no, Primer is actually faster. But yeah, Primer is not. See, we can't take Primaros because in case there is a Ghost type, we will not be able to hit it. So I think we have to 100% take Hexcross. Actually, no, it's not true. We can just... Wait, wait, give me a second. Wait, I didn't even think about this. We can just maybe learn him a Dragon-type move. Because if we can, then we will just take um, Primaros. Ow. Outrage. Loki, if we can outspeed everything... We might just be able to one-shot Outreach everything. Karate Chop is decent. I mean, Dual Chop. Yeah, I don't know. Final Gambit, bro. I don't know, actually. Outreach might actually be... You know, I will learn Outreach. Instead of Scary Face. Here's your 1000 money. And we will learn again to Primaris. Now, do we learn to watch up as well? I mean, if we're gonna go for a dragon type move, we might as well go outrage. That's the thing. Uh, is karate chop better than cross chop? No, but it is more accurate. And I think I prefer more accuracy. I know it's half. Now nah, we're, we're learning it. We're learning it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'd, so I, we're gonna take primate. Definitely. Let's put him up front. And I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm sorry if I'm quiet. I'm just thinking. We definitely take Prime because you know, 65 attack, 52 speed is just a joke. I think we take Hex Cross as well. Just also because it's fast. I mean, it doesn't know a fighting type move. That's like the only small issue I have with him. But he's just so much faster than the rest of my team. I think. Actually, no, Hitmonros is actually... No, we will take Hitmonros instead, yeah. What moves do you have? Yeah, you have Brick Break? Okay, so actually, we'll take Hitmonros and we'll also teach you a Dragon-type move. Probably... Ooh, rolling. Uh, I, don't, I really don't like low accuracy. Revenge? Uh, nah. Close combat. Yo, we will, we will teach you close combat because if we can outspeed everything, we can just close combat everything. And we are pretty fast. 
so let us but let us learn you an outrage just in case we have to use it yeah and i think that will be the team a little bit scary because i also don't know what level misty will be which is also a problem but now i'm thinking do i maybe want to put hitman or Rus first yeah probably yeah let's put him first because he's i mean he has one speed less i think let me check noise yeah, it's uh, the speed is a lot lower actually. Mm. Yeah, no, we'll still put them up front. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's let's see how this goes. I was gonna save, but why would I save? Doesn't matter because if we lose, we lose everything. I think that's what we're gonna do. Level twenty-two. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. I just I'm just hoping there's no ghost types. That's like the only thing that can mess me up. Ita. Okay. That's an Eevee Bonita. Would probably get one shot by a Brick Break. Okay, it does. Okay, wow. I did not expect us to be so... I mean, same for this one. Oh, I've been stressing about Misty for literally no reason. I just won like that. Bruh. <laughs> Okay, well, we got Water Pulse, that's great. And a premium Wonder Trade ticket. I will not even use the Wonder Trade ticket. Because I can only use Fighting Types and Extras this episode. Wow, that was... Um, that was very easy. I actually do not really know what... I did not expect it to go that quickly. Um, I guess we get a new encounter on Route 5. Uh, did I turn the Randomizer back on? I guess we're about to find out. Because I did turn it off for a second to cheat in the Pokemon. Well, we have a Prime Ape. I do think that that spawns here normally. Okay, that definitely doesn't. Okay. We have a Crobat. We do have a Crobat. If we can't find a Poco, we might have to re randomize. We have a Beedrill. I was thinking, do we have this? But we, we did have a Beedrill. Oh, Papi, yes. Yes. Yes, you are definitely, I don't care, it's a duplicate, I know, but I do not care. I'm pretty sure I can choose, right, whether or not I want to catch a duplicate, I'm pretty sure I can choose. So yeah, we're definitely catching this, I don't know if it's going to be any good, but, I mean, rip flying type moves as well, because it will be grass um, fighting. And we will also not use this this episode, because we are staying with the team of using fighting types and hexers only. I just ran. I wanted to switch Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're not getting a Skepti Daddy. Okay, I guess we're not. Damn, that. Oh, that's painful. Well, at least we didn't get this, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's very painful. That one, that one hurts a lot. That one does hurt a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Let's continue, because we do get an, another encounter here. Let's see if this one's maybe good. Okay, it's just the same Pokemon. I will probably have to um, re-randomize. Let's, let's battle you. Let's see. Okay, now that's scary. Good. We have to go for an Outrage, I think. Oh, it's not a one shot okay, but we live. Okay, I... I was actually not expecting us to live a... Confusion, I think that was. Also, that was level 23. We are be underleveled. We are like, like quite underleveled actually. Let's skip her. Let's only fight the bottom one. Let's see what level you are because I might have to up my levels a little bit. Hi, pal. Another. Oof. Oh, I think we have to go for outrage again. It's a flying type and a psychic type. I do know we're stuck in... Oh my god, we one-shot this. I do know we're stuck in Outrage, but we survived. Red Vermilion, great. Let's save here. I'll also show you guys. Um, if you ever want to re-randomize your uh, Pokemon in the wild, you go here, you click Advanced, Randomize and Reshuffle. This will take like a few seconds, there we go. And now all the Pokemon should be randomized again in the wild. Um, should I buy some Pokeballs first? I think we should. 
Oof, Jujum box. Yes, yes, yes. These are like the best Pokeballs to buy. Um, definitely since we will only be catching Fuse Pokemon. Ah, oh, this woman. I forgot about this woman. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We can... We are fair. We are extremely strong. Oh, please don't tell me you're fairy type, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. I just realized something. We can't do anything against fairy types. Okay, I'm gonna stay in. That's okay, fine. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in. Okay, Jesus. Oh wow, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to find some for fairy types. Because even if we fainted um, that Hitmonlee, we have to Hitmonlee, so it would not have been that bad. Like, it would have been annoying, of course, but... We did have another one. That's where I encounter is. A Kofmer. Well, that was not the Pokemon I was hoping for, but... Better than nothing, I guess. And we got it first try as well, perfect. Poison Water. Actually, I don't think there's many Poison Water types. Oh no. Skepti Daddy, don't, don't, don't come back, please. Do I really want to do a double battle? You know what, why not? I always skip double battles, but it's time to actually face them. Um, okay, so we 100% try... Oh, Outrage, that's right. Well, you're just gonna get one shot at. Guess I will slash the bait jump. We have to get rid of bait jump. Centum, that's. F Ooh, that actually does a lot of damage. I did not think that would do that much damage. Okay. Did we get rid of it? <gasps> okay! Oh wow, and we're stuck in Centum, aren't we? But we should be able to outspeed. Okay, we're not stuck in the sand tomb, okay. Then just to brick break you and I will just switch out to I don't know, my Orus, I guess. Okay, perfect. Um another brick break should be good enough. Let's do a knockoff as well. There we go. Yeah, fair types are gonna be a big problem the more I'm thinking about it. Because we will be fighting a dragon and the only moves that I Seen my Pokemon learn our Dragon type moves, Dark type moves, Fighting type moves, and Normal type moves. So I guess that's not too bad. We want to battle them. Yeah, why not? Watch them have double legendaries. Oh wow, it's a very scary fusion. Um, I guess we again just go for the Great Karate Chop, Flame Wheel. That's fine. Leer, that's also fine. Okay. I went on long walk, but we're fine. Confuse Ray. I will just switch out because Confuse Ray annoys me too much. And that was easy enough. Okay, now let's also collect our fishing rod. Yes, I really love fishing. Thank you for the old rod. And let's go fishing for a new encounter in Vermilion. Okay, we land a Pokemon. Let's see. It's a make you. Wow, isn't that just amazing? We will catch it. Um, yeah, we will catch it. And very cute Pokemon, don't get me wrong, but. I mean, did it have to be an Axio? You know, do you see what team we're running with? Whatever. And there we go, make you was caught. Fire Dragon. I mean, decent typing. We will not use it, since we are, of course, using. Only fighting types this episode and only Hexorus fusions, and that's an Axiom. I'm thinking, can we actually... Yeah, we can catch Pokemon here. Oh, I, I just realized I wanted to say something at the start of the episode. Um, so I really hope you guys are still watching. So, so I know Slipoma's comment one, who said choose three other random comments. I'd be banning those comments, as in, like, you can post them, I will just not be choosing them if they win, because... I mean, that's, like, St. Paul, my congrats to you, but you just found, like, a hack, um, like a glitch, but I will not be doing that, because... I mean, someone could just say, oh, do every comment, and then it's like, well... I mean, 
I know it's a challenge, but that's like impossible. So I will not be um, doing those comments anymore where it says choose like five others because those are just a little bit too much. I mean, I will do this one because it's fun. Mommy Milkies? Milk Zone? Yo, everyone join the Milk Zone? What do we even do against this? This was Slash? Sonic Boom, okay. Sonic Boom is annoying. It's full of Fusion Ball. If we don't catch it, we switch. Okay, we got it. Yo, Milk Zone? We already got Septi then, and now we got a Milk Zone? Damn. This is turning out to be an amazing episode. Milkson is definitely going in the thumbnail, by the way, because that was a, that was an awesome design. And I think we have one more encounter right before we go on the SSM. Pretty sure that yeah, for Route 11 we can catch our final encounter for the episode, and it's gonna be exactly. Wait, that's not even. Is it even a custom fusion? I don't think it is, but we'll still catch it, I guess. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, well, easy capture. Rest fairy, I mean... Might actually be a decent Pokemon if it's like... Uh, evolved all the way. Wait, what's he? Pokemon trainer, I brought back special flute from my travels. Show me the city's patch and the shirts. Yo, I didn't even know that guy was there. Okay, cool. Let's go on the SSN. We'll do a few battles on the SSN. Um, but definitely not all of the battles for this episode. Let's just see what the levels there are, you know? Let's just see. Okay. Um, I'm just going to Outreach, yeah. I mean, Outreach is probably just going to carry um, this whole um, boat. So we will try some other Pokemon too. Paralyze here. Yeah. What level are you? Snubkip. That's adorable. Um, let's go for a dual chop. Your fairy type, that's right. Actually, we should not have damaged you because. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's why we should not have damaged you. Oh, and one of the rules was that I lose two Pokemon every time. So I guess we're gonna take. I don't know. We'll take this hit, Monorus. So this one down here, I will, after his battle, also put in the box. So annoying. I even said that I shouldn't have damaged him. Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no. What was I even fighting? I was so upset about Lu. Um, we will get rid of our ad other Mayorus. Okay, so for this battle, we only have Primorus and Hitmonorus. So yeah, let's just go Hitmonorus. Which Pokemon even is this? Vitor? Oh, Wheezing Executor, now I see. Yeah, let's just go for an Outrage. Oh, I am so upset. I am I'm ending the episode. Also, 69 health, I just saw. Ooh. Got an XP sure. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm ending the episode right here. Damn. I thought this episode was actually gonna be nice to me, but I guess not. Uh, we lost four Pokemon. Who did? Yeah, we lost you. Didn't lose you. We lost Hexdrop. Lost Myorus. And yeah, we lost this Hitmonrus. Okay, well. I guess for the next episode we can just use our regular Pokemon again, hopefully for one episode. Uh, but yeah, I will end the episode here because I um, am very scared right now. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like and leave a comment telling me what I should do in the next episode. And that's gonna be it for me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.